here is Saul. Every time this guy gets mad, he's got a spear in his hand. And he throws it at David. And here's the thought that goes through my mind. If you're David, every day you're getting up trying to do the will of God. Every day you're getting up just trying to be faithful. God, I just want to be faithful to you. Today, I'm, you tell me to show up to work. Even if it seems detrimental, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to bloom where I planted. I'll be the best military commander I can be. I'll be the best guitar player I'm called to be, even with a boss who doesn't like me and tends to throw spears. But I'll do it. I, I, God, I'm just trying to be faithful. And every time he seeks to be faithful, it appears that around every corner, there's spears being thrown at him. Any of you ever feel that way? God, I'm just trying to be faithful. And yet, it doesn't matter how faithful I am, it just seems like things keep coming. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I wish it were the work of God to save us and then do everything he can just to keep us comfy and half, comfortable and happy until, <laughs> until he returns or calls us home. Wouldn't that be good? It'd be a whole lot easier. But God isn't interested in making us happy and comfortable. He's interested in making us great. And so he brings us into things that cause us to run to him. And David just keeps running into junk. And he's just gonna keep turning back to God. And the picture here is is it will almost, it's like he's a goner. It shouldn't be that hard to hit a guitar player with a spear. It shouldn't be that hard. But he keeps missing. There's a key word, if you want to, there's a key word that runs throughout chapter 19. It's the word escaped. Because what's the will of God? He's going to be king. So evil can get close, but evil's not sovereign. That God will protect his child. 